Cashflow Diary Podcast, Episode 41. Congratulations, you showed up. Give yourself a high five in celebration of your success. Welcome to the Cashflow Diary, where new and experienced investors come to take confident action towards their goals. Your host is a family man, a real estate entrepreneur, investor, coach, and instructor. As a master facilitator of Robert Kiyosaki's Cashflow 101 game, he's inspired many to begin their journey into creating cash flow for themselves and their family. And now, here he is to offer you the tools required to earn the income desired. Your cash flow coach, Jay Massey. Well, hello and happy new year indeed. First time we're talking this entire new year and I'm just excited. I'm excited uh, because it's a new year. I'm excited because of many things that we've got going on here and what I know happens when people take action. Speaking of which, uh, let me get down straight to business and do something I normally don't do. I normally don't push you very hard to actually take a specific action. However, I'm going to change that for this particular episode. Go to learninvestingnow.com. Here's why. We are about to launch. I've done this before, and I do this maybe one or two of these a quarter, where I take a group of people through a specific strategy. And right now, we're talking all about raising private capital. Uh, You can go to learninvestingnow.com, raisingprivatecapital.com. You'll go to the same place. Long story short, many times it has been said, I I hear it all the time, Jay, I would do real estate if I just had the money. I would do this if I just had the money. I'd make my music. I'd make my CD if I just had the money. I'd buy a bigger house. I'd go do whatever it is if I just had the money. And the, the funny thing is one of the most important or most popular, if you will, uh, New Year's resolutions is, well, I, I want to lose weight and I want to, you know, make more money. Well, I can't help you with the lose weight. Sorry. But I can definitely get you more money. Period. Now, what does that mean? That means I'm in the process of doing what I call our mastermind groups. When you go over to learninvestingnow.com, you're going to go through the process. You're going to get at least three, probably four hours worth of information completely free that allows you to go through the process. You're going to get the ebook, a whole bunch of videos. And if you haven't had enough of me by then, that's exactly what the mastermind group is for. That's who it's for. It's for the person or persons uh, who are finally ready to take their life on and take it through a process that I am absolutely certain will work because I've done it for years myself personally and I've helped other people long distance as well as locally be able to duplicate this to raise any amount of capital that you can think of, all right? Now, there's going to be a lot of work involved, all right? But for those of you that want to go through that process with me, that's great. And what's going to be very, very unique is uh, I'm going to share techniques and strategies and things in a different way than I've ever done it before, simply because I'm in the process of raising a whole bunch of capital myself. So what it comes down to is go to learninvestingnow.com. I'm being so intent because we're about to launch the group and the window for this particular mastermind group is going to close. And I don't know if I'm going to be doing this uh, particular mastermind group again this year or next year, or whenever. I just don't know. And that's not a sales trick, sales tool. It's not any of that. It's just meant to tell you that I don't know. (laughs) Um, And But at the same time, that doesn't mean wait and hope, because now you're going to pay a very large opportunity cost to find out in that uh, that particular space. So again, go to learninvestingnow.com. Let's get started. Understand when it comes to raising private capital, it is by far the most powerful skill, most universal skill uh, that I uh, teach and that I apply. Uh, Many of you know uh, that uh, we've been able to build a decent sized portfolio. We've been able to uh, raise uh, millions of dollars uh, during this quote unquote down economy. Uh, We've been able to do well over tens of millions of dollars worth of real estate transactions during the supposedly down or stagnant or whatever word you want to use economy. And in that process is when I've learned all these skills and be able to do these things. And I'm taking another group of people through. The reason this is important is simply because, hey, you said you wanted to make more money. And I believe we can help you do that. Anyway, um, 
enough of that. Go listen to the episode number one if you understand. Uh, if you want to understand a little bit more about who I am and where things come from, because I think that'll help you. But what I am going to do for you today is uh, I'm definitely going to stick uh, to the title of the show. It's uh, how to make more money this year, this time for reals, <laughs> right? How many times have you said that? Well, here's the thing. Um, it's just going to be best to start with our quote. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. And so we must straighten our backs and work for our freedom. A man can't ride you unless your back is bent. Now, do you know who said that? Martin Luther King Jr. Why do I put this here? It's because the very first word is very important. The word is change. Change is what many of us are seeking, especially if you're looking to make more money this year, this time for reals, right? You're looking for some change. And for many of us, I know myself, this is how, how it was, is that I was working for someone else. Now, that, that's not necessarily bad. There are some of us, if given the choice of all the things we would choose, we would still choose to be an employee, and that's fine. But even if that's you, here's the challenge. By being an employee, by definition, it is not designed to help you create the life or lifestyle you want, especially when you begin to hit that period known as retirement. And that's what you and I must pay attention to. You and I must be very, very well aware about that because these things are now true. So it is time for us to straighten our backs, and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to give you what I consider to be a very simple but clear and powerful technique T. Harv Ecker always says, simple is usable, and I agree, right? And uh, Tony Robbins says, don't leave the scene of the decision without taking action towards it. Those are two things that if you are serious about earning more money this year, this time for reals, when you said it, that you will do by the end of this episode. And what I often tell people is move at the speed of instruction. When you move at the speed of instruction, you do not allow any self-talk, positive or negative, to get in the way. You execute the instructions given. At the end of this episode will be a very clear, very specific exercise and set of instructions. Now, what's interesting is that I normally do these in my live events. So when I have a group of, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100, 200, um, or I think the largest group that, you know, I probably done this with live is around 180, maybe 200 people. I it doesn't matter. The point is the exercise is normally done live, which is great. But I don't have you with me right now, unfortunately but I have your attention. And while I have it, I want you to listen to everything I'm saying. And please, today, move at the speed of instruction. Because depending on when you're hearing this, a few days have gone by. What have you done in the last four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve 10, 12 days to keep that resolution in place? What can you point to on your calendar that says, hey, this is what I have done. Not what I'm going to do, what I, not what I hope to have happen, but what I have done that is going to help me and my family earn more money this year, this time, for reals. <laughs> All right, here we go. First and foremost is to understand that you must decide. You say, Jay, I've already decided. I doubt that. Most people don't understand what a decision is, let alone how to create uh, the environment in which a decision is not only made but successful and therefore then probable to actually become a true decision. Understand that decision comes, part of the root word is desi, D-E-S-I, especially when spelled in English, right? Because I know some of you are, you know, live listening to this and 
other countries. By the way, thank you. It's it's amazing to me. I just the the emails that I get and from where all you guys are. It's awesome. Anyway, Desi, it simply means to cut, to cut off. So let me ask you this. If you cut something off, now I'm just just for the sake of example. If you cut oh a piece of rope in two, the two pieces are no longer attached. So what one piece no no longer affects the other piece. They're two completely separate pieces and they can go their separate ways, have their separate set of consequences, have their separate set of benefits. Let me ask you this, though. How long does it really take you to decide something? Like, seriously, say you're a smoker today. How long does it take you to decide to quit? I submit for your acceptance that this happens in an instant. It could have happened in the time that I said quit. It could have happened in the time that I said decide. It can happen right now. Decide. Cut it off. Here's the challenge, especially as it relates to the idea of earning more money. Because you think you've made this decision before. And therefore, it plagues you. And you hear that self-talk that says, well, what's going to be different this time? You didn't do it last time. You said that last year. What's different? And all that tape that tends to go on that story. Well, here's the cool thing. And here's the bad thing. Is that you and I, we will do whatever it takes to make our story true. So. Write a new one. This time on purpose. That completely supports where you're going. Here's my point and here's how you do it. Many times when we say, this is what I'm going to do, we fail to do what, like I said earlier, Anthony Robbins says. We leave the scene of a decision without taking action towards it. Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to come up with not one, not two, but maybe 10. And if you are an overachiever, go for 15. (laughs) Different behaviors that are congruent with the decision that you just made. For example, you say, I want to earn more money. Great. What would be a behavior in your current occupation, in your current way of earning money, that would be congruent with that decision? What could you do? Write out 15 things. You say, Jay, I'm tired of what I'm currently doing. I want to do something different. Great. Fine then what are the basic business disciplines, the BBDs, uh, the income generating activities that you can do? Now, uh, you're going to have to search the podcast to find where I've talked about the basic business disciplines and the income generating activities because there are very few of them, right? And where I talk about pay time uh, because that's there. Um, Because with... (laughs) With my coaching clients, I'm talking to these guys about this all the time because that's where that that that's where the magic is. But what are those behaviors that you could be doing that are congruent with that decision that you just made? What are they? See, what I what I have learned definitely about myself and many other people is we fail to write out what it will look like. We don't have a plan on what we're going to execute, what we're going to do. We, we never went that next step. We said, I'm going to make more money. Our friend said, yeah, me too. And that was done. We said, I'm going to quit and uh, quit smoking. And, my, and your friend said, yeah, me too. And that was done. Uh, we, we said, we're going to lose weight. And we're like, yeah, we'll start next week. And yeah, me too. <laughs> right? What are the behaviors? Write it out. What does success look like? What does that yes look like to you? What would be the story of the person that is being congruent with that decision? Write it out. Here's the second part. Because I know some of you, you probably have done that before. But here's the other part 
that I find that takes people by surprise and unfortunately completely sabotages all of their plans, all of their good intentions, and then they're back one year later saying the exact same thing with no results. Here's the question. What will you do when, notice I did not say if, what will you do when the situation is similar? See, here's the question, or here's the, here's the understanding behind that question. Oftentimes, what we do or in the habits we've formed are in response to some sort of external stimuli, what have you. And we've developed all kinds of mechanisms for coping and doing things that are not necessarily congruent or supportive of what we actually say we want. So, because this is our environment and we all know that environment trumps will, what will you do when you are tempted by being in that same environment? Because sometimes removing yourself from the environment isn't enough because the environment could be your thought pattern. And that's the challenge. What happens when you start to feel discouraged when you write that offer for that piece of property and they say no? Last time you were discouraged, what did you do? Whether it was an offer or not, the point is, is when you feel discouraged, you have a habit of doing something. And what I'm suggesting now is for you to ask yourself, these things that have been unsupportive, these things that have led me down a path that don't lead to what I want, ask, my, ask yourself this. How did that get started? And what was my response? And what do I want my response to be now? That is by far the most important question. Because now you've got a plan for when things are going well <laughs> and you have a plan. For when things aren't going so well, both are required. Because not everything goes the way you want it to go every day, although we'd like it to. And unfortunately, it catches us unaware. And because we're unaware, we revert to our, dare I say, old programming. It'd be like going from, uh, what is it, Mountain Lion all the way back to the original Mac OS, or going from Windows 8 all the way back to DOS, it it just wouldn't work. And then we try to operate with these new things as if, you know, we try to run the internet on a DOS-based platform. You're like, what are you talking about, Jay? Here's the point. You can't make forward progress with old programming. And sometimes, We just have to figure out ways to reprogram ourselves. And this simple little process that I I just illustrated for you is one way to do that. Now, don't be fooled into thinking that this is the end of the episode. It's not. This is just to set the stage for what is the assignment that we're going to get to in just a moment. Before we get there, here's what I want to do. I want to make sure that you get the answer to the question from last time and that I get you a new cash flow question. For those of you who don't know, uh, we do this occasionally. What we do is we I issue a question that you get to answer. Sending in your answer to 800-689-1764 or cashflowquestion at cashflowdiary.com. Either will do. And what you will win is if you are the correct person or the if you have the correct answer to the question, You're in an autographed copy of my upcoming book, Cashflow Creation System, in which I detail my entire business model. Many people have asked me, you know, how do you go from wholesaling to raising private capital to, to, you know, uh, doing notes as well as apartment buildings and commercial real estate, et cetera, et cetera. How do you structure the deal? All that stuff, it's in there. And you can get a copy just by answering the question. And my questions are designed to increase your financial IQ because that is so important. Anyway, last week's question was, what is the most important thing for you to achieve success in 2014 or any year? 
what is the most important thing to improve for you to achieve success in 2014 or any year? The answer is, of course, your thinking. But you probably knew that. This week's question. Simple, but very important to understand. In which year was the Federal Reserve created? I repeat that. In which year was the Federal Reserve created? Okay. Now, if you want to answer the question, Cashflow Diary, or sorry, Cashflow Question at CashflowDiary.com or 800-689-1764. And when you send in your answer, please remember to put your address because we can't, it's just not possible. They haven't figured out how to email you a physical book yet. It just doesn't work. So make sure that you get that done. Anyway, now let's get to the action steps. Now you can take the information that I shared in the first part as well. Please do. Take it to heart. Use it. Use it in many places, and I'm sure it'll help you. But here was something that totally transformed my way of thinking. I can remember at one point, uh, I was working uh, in an insurance brokerage, and I was you know, spouting off about, it was probably near a new year, and I was just talking about how I was going to make more money, what I was going to do. And someone just, you know, randomly said, well, how much is more money? I was like, well, I'm going to make $20,000 a month. Now, that sounded really good. Now, mind you, um, it, it was a random number. Well, somewhat random. And then he just happened to ask a very important question. Have you ever done that? And I'm like, no. <laughs> but that shouldn't that doesn't stop me from setting the goal. And it shouldn't stop you. But the... Then he said the, the next thing, which I thought was, which just set me on this path, this course to being able to produce better results, no matter what it is that I do. He said simply, well, how about you try 2000 first? I was like, hmm, good point. See, at, at that point, $20,000 in one 30-day period seemed like an, a huge amount of money. It just really did. And no one in my family, to my knowledge, had ever done that in one month. So that that's where that goal kind of came from. But what the gentleman was really sharing with me is there's a specific set of skill sets required to provide that much value to the marketplace. So instead of jumping straight to 20, why don't you try two? And I was like, huh, you got a point. So here comes the exercise. See, first, I want you to understand that in order for you to earn more money this year, this time, <laughs> for reals, you must first understand that you, I, no one, really has a money problem. We all have an idea problem. That's it. An idea problem. By being able to create ideas that solve other people's problems, we put ourselves into a situation in which people are willing to give us what we call money in exchange for the use of our idea. Occasionally, we package that use of our idea as a product or a service. But if we want to really talk about a great service, let's talk about real estate, right? It's an idea problem that all of us have. So what does that mean? What is the exercise? How do you go from where you are today to being able to own as many unit rental units as you'd like? Because that may... Like, like if you just think about it, if you had 20 rental units paying you $200 a month uh, every month, that's $4,000 on a monthly basis without you having to get up. What does that feel like to you? What does that sound like to you? Does that sound like, oh, my gosh, that's that would be great? Well, you like, no, that's not enough. OK, cool. Add a zero. And you're like, that's not enough. Well, cool. Add a zero. Keep adding a zero until you go, wow, this is more than I could possibly imagine. The challenge was when we get to that point, we don't know what the next step is because it's so far beyond our current experience 
that we're just like, I feel lost, confused. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a small little exercise. And then I'm going to ask you to decide, based upon what you heard earlier, to do the things necessary to bring this into your reality. So whatever that number is, you know, 5000 a month, 10000 a month, it doesn't really matter. But we're going to use the numbers I started with earlier. I said 20000 So take 10% of that, and that's 2000 Take 10% of that, and that's 200 Take 10% of that, and that's 20 And take 10% of that, and that's 2 So in my case, I'm going to have five times at this exercise because I've got five different numbers. I've got $20,000, dollars and 2 And I want you to take two minutes. And what you're going to do is in two minutes, you're going to write down everything you can think of that would be a $2 idea. That's it. It can't be more than $2, but it's got to be a $2 idea. Something, a product or service that you could develop or create or resell. doesn't have to be brand new. Something that you could do to create $2 of value. Then you're going to do the same thing for $20 of value. Then you're going to do the same thing for $200 of value. Then you're going to do the same thing for $2,000 of value. And then you're going to do the same thing for $20,000 of value. As you go through this process, you're going to realize that you have some great ideas. Like, you're like, wow, I'm I'm shocked. I have ideas. Yes. And now that you have the ideas, the only thing that you're missing is the system that goes behind those ideas to either raise the capital and and create the product or service. That's it. But it starts with moving at the speed of instruction. Thank you for investing your time with Jay Massey and the Cash Flow Diary. When you have a moment, please visit iTunes and leave a positive comment about the show. And go now to our website, cashflowdiary.com, to take advantage of our free business building course, Cash Flow Foundation. Gain the knowledge, understanding, and skill that will teach you how to never need a job again. Until next time. Until next time. Until next time.